Understanding off the pace in English. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a common English phrase that can be quite puzzling for learners off the pace. Let's break it down together and make sure you can use it confidently in your conversations. Ready to speed up your English skills? Let's go! Off the pace refers to someone or something not being as fast, advanced, or successful as required or expected. It's often used in contexts where speed, progress, or development is being measured against a certain standard or competitor. Think of it as falling behind in a race where the pace is the speed set by the leader. This idiom comes from the world of racing, where maintaining the pace is crucial for winning. Being off the pace meant that a racer was trailing behind the leading speed. Over time, it's been adopted into everyday language to describe a broader range of situations where someone is not meeting the standard. Let's look at how off the pace can be used. 1. In sports commentary, the runner is off the pace. He'll need to speed up to catch the leaders. 2. In academics, if you're off the pace in your studies, you might want to join a study group. 3. In business, our sales team is off the pace this quarter. We need innovative strategies to reach our targets. Understanding synonyms can expand your ability to express the concept in different contexts. Here are a few. Behind the curve, not up to par, falling short. And that's a wrap on Off the Pace. Whether you're sprinting in a race or striving for success in life, knowing this phrase can help you articulate situations involving performance and expectations. Keep practicing, and you'll stay right on pace with native speakers. See you in our next video, and keep learning!